going on guys so guys today i got my son's gaming rig right here that i uh, recently built and i installed the call of duty warzone game um however the issue is that the call of duty warzone game is not launching so guys many of you guys are trying to play some call of duty warzone and you guys are encountering this error message that basically states direct x encounter an unrecoverable error check the readme for possible solutions let's go ahead and find out a solution for you guys today as i previously stated this is a fresh computer build that means we got it's new windows 10 installation uh new hardware uh new installation of call of duty warzone uh windows updates um, we have the correct system time here, um, so we're in the correct time zone. But the other issue to kind of point out is that we truly do not have a beefy graphics card. What I'm using is a old 2 gigs graphics card, which pretty much uh, it receives its power from the motherboard and not from the actual um power supply really did not look at the call of duty warzone hardware specs but i do have call of duty on my gaming rig but my gaming rig has an 8 gigs graphics card this particular uh computer it's got some beefy hardware 8 gigs of memory uh 8 core amd processor time being since this is a you know fresh install i just threw in this card temporary this 2 gig card temporary what I believe may be the issue is our graphics card may not be up to specs for Call of Duty Warzone. But before we even do anything of that, what we're going to do is click OK. All right, so we're going to go locate. There's supposed to be an option where there's supposed to be some settings. What about if we click this? There we go. So cl click the uh, drop down arrow under Blizzard and select settings. So we're going to do game settings and additional command arguments. And basically in here, we're going to type uh, the following path. Let me pull up my notepad for you guys. So we're going to type negative D3D. Okay. So I'll just do a copy and paste. So we're going to type negative D3D. Again, negative D3D. All right, so after that, we're just gonna select done. Okay, guys, so we're gonna hit play. And we're gonna see if we're gonna get the game to launch this time. Now, if it fails to launch, the next step is to look at, even though this is pretty much a old graphics card, we're gonna see if we can at least uh, download some uh, additional drivers for it. Yes, for safe mode. And we'll see if it goes through. Nope. Failed again. All right. So what we can do is close this. Let's just exit the application. Yeah, let's close it completely. So what I'm going to do is pull up computer management. I'm going to select start. And on my keyboard, I'm just going to type C on P. Then I'm going to select computer management. And basically, we want to get to the device hardware to see exactly what drivers we have for our graphics card. So select device manager. From here, you want to go down to display. So we got display adapter, AMD, uh, HD 6570 properties. And let's see exactly where that driver came from. Is it from Microsoft or from the vendor? looks like the computer did download this driver from uh, AMD so what we're going to do is see if there's a updated driver because um, right now it says 2015 that possibly could be the latest driver um, I don't really know but we're still going to run to AMD's website or we'll kind of do a Google search to see if there's a new update for this card I went to Google started typing up you know uh, the card and which operating system I'm running. Uh, first search I got was this, so I'm going to open up a new tab and we're going to go to this website. This uh, card is pretty much retired, but we're still going to see, you know, if, 
if the website may have something for us to use. So as you can see, Windows 10 64-bit, that's what I'm currently running. Uh, and again, this is a legacy driver. So we're going to go ahead and see. Oh, look at that. It says the latest and greatest was 2015. However, there is a uh, read on uh, Crismo Edition Beta. Hmm. Do we want to do the beta or not? I don't know, guys. Let's go back to here. 11 for 2015 sometimes you can just select update driver and sometimes it will locate the driver uh from a windows update uh or it will locate it from the web so we'll just you know have it check for updates and see what happens let's select view optional let's see driver updates oh look at that it found something but that's pointing back to 8-30-2017. Uh, and look at that. 11-4-2015. Uh, okay. So, yep, that is that is definitely newer. So, we're going to select those driver updates. And do download and install. Installed. Uh, it needs to do a restart for additional uh, updates. But we're gonna hit okay uh it did a little refresh behind screen but you know up there it goes it did another refresh so what we're going to do is right click and select properties and let's see did it update no it didn't take effect so more than likely we'll probably have to do that restart hey guys as we continue our support process to try to troubleshoot this issue with call of duty guys do not forget to hit that like, subscribe, and share this video, guys, because it will definitely help my channel grow. I appreciate your views, and I will definitely appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe so that way we can help each other grow and learn together. I appreciate it, guys. The AMD installer is basically completed the process for the video card drivers. Uh, we also installed the latest and greatest uh, Windows 10 updates. And as you can see, that requires a restart. This requires a restart. So let's go ahead and knock that bad boy out. And as you can see with that restart, it also uh, inquires, you know, finishing uh, installing the remaining window up updates behind scenes, which is very common. So guys, for this particular computer build, it's a lot of reuse computer components, uh, motherboard, which was purchased off of eBay, um, the AMD A-Core uh, CPU processor, that was also purchased off of uh, eBay, and the, bent, the pins, the actual CPU pins were bent, so it was sold as, you know, for parts, which I repaired the pins to that cpu um this particular cpu fan and heat sink uh that was used for micro center um the fans in here that you pretty much see um the back case fans top uh case fans those were all purchased new from amazon and then the front two fans which if i hit this button down here it's a button right there that will basically turn on our front lights. And if I hit the button again, it'll toggle through the actual settings. And we can actually get a, uh, let's see if I can. It'll basically stroke through the settings. And as you can see, it'll change the color. There we go. So yeah, guys, um, it's a pretty decent setup. Again, eight gigs of uh, memory. Currently, uh, we will eventually upgrade that when we upgrade this uh, temporary uh, graphics card. Check out my video for this computer install. It begins from the time that I basically bought the case, paint the case, and then started adding the computer component. So check it out. Computer has restarted, so we're gonna relaunch Battle.net. And as you can see, Call of Duty Warzone. So now we're going to select play. And let's see if this will address the issue. So now Call of Duty wants to run in safe mode. We're gonna hit yes. And we're gonna see what happens. If it fails again, then that basically tells me that we need to reinstall Call of Duty Warzone. There we 
there we go so that basically tells me that we have an issue uh with call of duty installation so what i do is basically right click on battle.net select open file location okay so what we want to go to is program files and as you can see call of duty uh, modern warfare this is uh basically warzone and as you can see it's, it says 110 gigs I think it might be a little bit more um, during the installation. I think it's like 115. So if that's true, 110 basically represents that it doesn't have all the necessary files. But anyhow, what we want to do, our whole goal is to uninstall this. So what I'm going to do is just right click and select delete. And there we go, it's permanently deleted. So now we're going to relaunch Battle.net. Now once we got Battle.net relaunching, our purpose is to pretty much reinstall Call of Duty Warzone. Alright, so... Have successfully reinstalled Call of Duty Warzone. Basically, we deleted the folder. Uh, we went back to the Blizzard software and we basically selected install Call of Duty Warzone. And now it's available for us to play. All right. So now we're going to see if this will successfully launch the game. And if this fails, then our next uh, thing that we need to do is look at graphics card. Yep, there you go. So DirectX encountered a unrecoverable error. So it appears that this temporary graphics card that we have installed on my son's computer is that it's not compatible with this DirectX version. So what we're going to do, guys, we're going to... Um, let me see if I have a uh, another video card, and I'm going to just throw it at the computer. And again, as I previously stated, I do have an 8 gigs graphics card. Nice, beefy bad boy here. This is the... This is the R9390. It's an 8 gigs graphics card. So let's go ahead and remove this card. So... This was our temporary 2 gigs AMD uh, HD 6570 card. This card does not require any power from the power supply. It all comes from the motherboard. So let's get this card seated. So now I need to just basically retrieve power from a power supply underneath, uh, bring that power supply cable, so that way we can provide power to this graphics card, and we'll be good to go. We'll be able to show you guys how we were able to resolve our Call of Duty uh, issue. All right, guys, now it's time to finally put this one in the bag. Call of Duty has finished updating. Uh, now we're gonna select play, and let's see if Call of Duty is going to finally launch the game successfully. Remember, the last time we've been trying to do this, we would receive an error, uh, direct X error. Okay, so we got this same message before. Do you want to run that safe mode? So we're going to hit yes. And the last time it would basically run through and crash sometimes it'll load through like sometimes it'll start in the beginning crash and then sometimes it'll go through to somewhat the end and then crash but as you can see guys infinity ward that's pretty much it guys just like that we were able to resolve the issue with my son's computer now he can play call of duty uh still has some updates to install but the system is functional. Um, again, our issue ended up being our video card. This card is not compatible with Call of Duty because Call of Duty is running on a higher level uh, DirectX 
Um, you know, this is a two gig card at that, you know, that can come into play too, that performance wise. Um, and actually, the reason why I state that too is because when I had this card installed, it did allow me to play Fortnite. However, Fortnite, even though, you know, I have a wireless connection, Fortnite was absolutely just laggy. It was just lag. Now, when I replace this card for the current card that's in there, uh, Fortnite smoothed out, plays fine, just like if you're on Xbox One. More than likely, Call of Duty is going to do the same thing. Smooth gameplay, no issues found. So if you guys are stumbling trying to figure out how can you get your Call of Duty to work on your PC, please, please try upgrading your video card. All right, guys, the computer build is complete. It is now in its destination in my son's room at his computer desk. And we also have a computer monitor mounted to the wall. It's got his gaming keyboard, gaming mouse, gaming controller, gaming headphones. He's ready to game out. Also with the gaming mouse pad uh, that I got in some wall dust on i gotta clean that up but uh yeah got everything situated everything set up it's good to go